Hey guys, it's the Lego One Eighty here, and today I'm reviewing the Lego Star Wars Rogue One set, Imperial Assault Hover Tank. The set number seven five one five two. The age range is seven to twelve. Comes with three hundred and eighty five pieces, three minifigures. Starts for fifty nine ninety nine AU, twenty nine ninety nine US, and twenty nine ninety nine pounds. Without further ado, let's get straight into this Lego review. Okay, first up let's check out the minifigures and the first two figures we're going to check out are the hover tank pilots. Overall these figures are really really cool, they've got some great printing that goes all the way down from the top of the torso to the bottom of the legs and continues really well over the hips which is really nice to see. They've got great moulds for their helmets up here, pretty sure these are new moulds for the figures that represent their helmets that they have in the film perfectly. Now let me just give them a spin round. So no side printing at all, no arm printing. On the back, their torso back pieces just uh, continue what was on the front and it's really nice to see. Really, really detailed. Great to see that Lego put so much detail into just a basic trooper. Now they do both come with the stock Star Wars rifles plus underneath their helmets is just angry clone face. Now the next figure is Druid Umwe. He is a really, really cool figure. A lot going on here. A lot of detail underneath these weapons that I will show you soon. But first, let me just show you the weapons. So here he's just got a basic staff. And on the back, he's just got a clip that holds like some sort of bowcaster. Now let me take these off so you can see the printing a bit better. Okay, once you take away the accessories, he looks really, really cool. He's just got a basic hairpiece that most figures have, nothing new there. And he's got great printing on the face. I really love the colour used in his eyes. It's like a medium blue. Sort of looks like he's using the force or something. And he also has like a white glove here, which is really, really cool. And I really love the printing on the torso. It looks awesome, as if he's about to go into battle. Now the printing on the back is also really, really cool. Really just continues from the front. And I love the little cloth there that they use. That's really, really awesome. Now, he does have an alternate face. Let me just pull that. Pull that off there. And it's really cool. It's just like a little more angry face. And also, the main attraction of the figure for me is this cloth piece down here. It's a really nice skirt. It's really nicely printed. It's really hard to put on. But once you put it on, it really looks amazing. Now, the main attraction of the set is, of course, the Imperial Hover Tank. This Hover Tank is really, really nice looking. I really love Lego tanks in general, and this one is no exception. Now, to start off with, I really love the builds for these here. They just look so awesome, and I really love like how they're all gridded and built up. Now, overall, the set has some great little detail, great little texture. Looks really cool. See, like, like a little inbuilt there. The use of these here to give some great texture. The difference between flat and stud looks really, really cool. On the back here, you've just got some stuff here. And you've also got two little studs here that are just used so that you can put this little little crate on them. So you can either put it there or you can put it there if you want. Now, on this side, just more detail, just some more studs and stuff. And these two go up and down like that. Now on the front, just got this little hatch where you can open it up again. And it does have two little hidden play features that I'll show you. As you can see there, little knob. All you do is turn that knob. Flick fire missile. On the other side, little knob. All you do is turn that knob. Flick fire missile. Overall, this tank is really, really cool. Okay, now let's check out the interior. So all you need to do to access the interior is pull that up there and open this up like that now you have access to there there's not much in here just a seat there and a seat there i'll show you how you attach some figures all you do is get the figure put him in like that and he's in and then you get the other figure put him in like that then he's in really cool how it fits two figures always great when the lego Ships fit all the figures. Overall, the interior is all right, not that detailed, but does the job. So, for I show you the bottom of the ship, not much going on here, just some exposed studs, which isn't that nice, but you're not really supposed to look at the bottom of the ship, so it doesn't really matter. As you can see, though, there are these four clear 
wheels here that allow the ship to hover up and down like this. to show you before I ended this review was a little orange crate here not really sure what's in this crate yet as I haven't seen the movie but it does look really cool in Lego form really nicely detailed all the way around and little handles here for minifigures to hold on to now you can pull the roof off like that and inside not much is going on just some binoculars and a little pistol my overall thoughts on this set are really 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 awesome I really love the minifigures, they are so cool. True Umwe is a real, real standout. And this other tank here looks really awesome with all the texture. Now, the set over whole, I will give the set probably a B+. Plus. Okay guys, that's it for my review of the LEGO Imperial Assault Hover Tank. If you guys want to find me, you can find me at LEGO Now Comments and more on YouTube, where you should like, comment and subscribe. I'm also on Twitter. Facebook and Google Plus at Lego Nair Comics and More. Okay, guys, see you next week for another episode of Lego Nair Comics and More. Lego Nair out. Bye.